This is Glenn Delakian of WAMDA. I'm here with Walid Sultan Medani, founder of Digital Mania Studios in Tunisia. Thanks for speaking with us. Uh, you're welcome. Could you explain for us how and when you started uh, Digital Mania? Uh, so I started Digital Mania in uh, 2009. Um, in fact, uh, I was working in uh, doing competition around video games uh, when I was student in 2004. And we made a company called Tunisia Games, and we made a lot of video game tournaments in Tunisia, France, and also in uh, in US, in California. And uh, after having my degree in 2008, uh, I was always dreaming about doing my own company that will do video games, and I started that in 2009. But uh, we faced a lot of problems, like there is no skills uh, in Tunisia about developing uh, video games. Uh, so uh, we spent with my team, uh, the actual one, uh, two years uh, learning how to do video games. And uh, finally in 2011, uh, I created officially Digital Mania and now we have uh, one year and three months uh, of uh, living uh, and developing games. Wow, so what types of games are you mostly creating? Uh, so, in the beginning, uh, the, the idea was to create a big, massive multiplayer online uh, RPG, and, uh, but this is really huge, so uh, now, today, we are developing games on Facebook, social games, and also on mobile, mobile social games. Okay, so what are the projects that Digital Mania is working on currently? Uh, so, today, we just released a new game called Defendor. Uh, it's a game on Facebook, yeah, so it's a social game. Uh, so this is our biggest production ever. Uh, this game took nine months to be developed, and the uh, the principle of that game is uh, like the, his name is to defend your door. It's multiplayer, uh, and we are also developing a part that will be asynchronous, so that that you can play against the computer. And uh, it's a new kind of game. It's mixed between a strategy and action. Uh, you can shoot, and in the same time. Uh, you have units that you have to control and uh, to uh, to send to destroy the, the door of your enemy. So how did your team come up with the idea for the game? Uh, we started that in March uh, 2012. Uh, we had a sit. Uh, we said, let's do a big brainstorming and uh, let's come out with a nice idea for a game that you can do on Facebook, uh, mobile and uh, desktop. One of the main uh, reason that you are also doing video games it's also we want to um, to share a bit to spread a bit the culture you know our culture a Tunisian one uh, we, you know we are Arabs we are Africans we are uh, Berber also we are Tunisia have a lot and a lot of culture uh, so we say let's also uh, in our games spread a, lot, uh, a little bit of our culture so for that uh, one of the main uh, uh, pieces of our culture is the doors. You know that <coughs> a door uh, means the, the entrance of the castle or the entrance of the house and this is very precious. So we started developing something around this door and um, the fact to protect it or to destroy the, the door of the opponent or of the, of the neighbor of the, or of the enemy. And uh, we built this around, uh, uh, all the game was built around uh, this, this uh, thinking. What regions or countries are you seeing the most number of users from? Oh, of course, uh, Tunisia, the first one, we have 50% uh, of, the, of the players are coming from Tunisia. But we also have a lot of French people, uh, a lot of uh, German, European guys. Uh, we have guys from MENA also. And uh, after we have also people playing from Colombia, Venezuela, India, China. And uh, so our, our aim is really global. Uh, we are not uh, aiming a specific part of the world or specific kind of people. Uh, our game is, is, is a casual game, uh, easy to play, hard to master of course. And with the release of the mobile version of Defendo, uh, the game will be cross-platform. So we want you to can be able to play on your desktop, on your mobile, and perhaps also on your smart TV, everywhere. Uh, so we are working on it. Have you faced any major hurdles when starting your digital media company in Tunisia? Oh, every day, every day, every day. Uh, as I, I want to say that every entrepreneur has his own, you know, 
big walls that he has to uh, to block. I had to uh, find funds to uh, to start the company uh, to make my guys uh, train and to learn how to do video games because we don't have schools about video games in Tunisia. Uh, and uh, to start doing our first project and to, make, to let people see that we really can do it. So this is, was uh, our first uh, challenge. After that, uh, we after this showing to everybody that yes, of course, we can do games, nice ones with nice graphics and uh, in a really nice organization. Uh, where the second challenge was how to sell the video games and you know that uh, because we are based in Tunisia uh, we don't people don't have international credit cards PayPal is not really available so all this pushed us to be absolutely uh, we have to have a global reach and to, to sell to, to the world our aim is really to share our ideas our passion and our culture uh, to, to, to the world so can you explain what's in the pipeline next yeah, of course. Our plan today is really to improve Defendor, to make it a world-class uh, game, uh, to, to make it also on mobile. It, it will come very soon also. And uh, so this is the part about uh, Defendor. It's, uh, it's really our main product today. And the next step will be to think, uh, we have three, three ideas of games. Uh, two will be on social, one will be on Xbox. So it will depend on how Defendor is going. Uh, our new partner, how it's going to be also. So we are really in some kind of the growing stage, you know. We are, ta we are taking off and uh, we will see what can happen. Well, thanks, Wally, for speaking with Wamda and best of luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. See you soon.